everyone, it's your tech girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Syempre, dilaw na dilaw tayo ngayon dahil ganito rin yung kulay ng iPad na mapag-uusapan natin ngayon. So far, no, I've been loving the color yellow talaga. Probably because it really gives me good vibes. Yung ganitong pagka-yellow, guys, ano, hindi yung masyadong matingkad. Kaya naman nung nalaman ko na may color yellow, sa choices ng iPad 10th generation. Talaga namang ding. Alam nyo yun, napa-autobuy ako kahit na nagpa-pol ako sa inyo guys at nanalo yung pink. Anyway, before we unbox the iPad 10th generation, I just wanna say na magiging available siya sa Beyond the Box. It's not yet available now. Baka kasi sumugod kayo sa kanilang mga physical stores, no? Pero soon, meron naman silang announcement. So, i-update ko na lang yung ating description box and the comment section below once it is available sa ating mga authorized retailers here in the Philippines. Okay, alam nyo, may mixed feelings ako dito talaga sa iPad 10 na bago, eh. Alam naman natin na kapag sinabing iPad without the Air or even the Pro naming after its name, talagang affordable sila. Ito yung tipo ng tablet na budget-friendly. Ito rin yung tipo ng tablet na unang papasok sa isip ko kapag nakahanap kayo ng isang entry-level one. And then when this came out during their Apple event, talaga namang na-surprise at na-excite ako dahil sa color choices, sa redesign, na USB Type-C, and many more. Hindi ako na-excite nung nalaman ko na yung kanyang pricing. Considering pa na it only supports the first generation Apple Pencil. Kung mapapansin nyo, angat na angat yung pagka-color yellow niya para rin malaman natin agad kung ano ba yung kulay na nabili natin sa packaging pa lang. Hindi lang yon color yellow din yung pinaka-iPad name niya and of course, the Apple logo here. As usual, we have here the easy pull tab that makes it easier and convenient to unbox. I can't contain my happiness, guys, probably because of the color that I got and the redesign that we finally got sa kanilang Entry level iPads. Tanggalin na rin natin yung kanyang plastic. Look at that. First impressions ko no when it comes to its color, it's not as vibrant as we saw doon sa kanilang Apple event. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, without edits ito, ito yung kanyang totoong color. Ano pa ba ang dapat nyo i-expect na laman ng kanyang box? Of course, we have paperwork. And I actually really am hoping na Color yellow yung kanyang Apple stickers. We also finally have a braided USB-C to USB Type-C charging cable. Finally, no, braided cable na siya. Mas matibay at recyclable yung kanyang material. And of course, yung ating power brick. Finally, ano, USB Type-C na yung ating bagong iPads ngayon. Finally, open na rin siya to a lot more accessories, meaning we can also connect this iPad sa isang external monitor. And the good thing here is you can also now plug in external devices katulad ng mga USB-C drives. But of course, may compromise siya if you are expecting na magagamit nyo yung second generation Apple Pencil nyo, nagkakamali kayo. So kung USB Type-C siya, paano natin gagamitin yung first generation Apple Pencil? To the previous iPad owners na merong first generation Apple Pencil, kailangan yung bumili ng USB-C adapter. Actually, it's USB Type-C to Apple Pencil adapter and available siya for 590 pesos. So yes, medyo gagastos pa kayo ng konti. Anyway, more of this later, pag-usapan muna natin yung kanyang pricing. The iPad the 10th generation retails for 29,990 pesos for the 64 gig and this is for the Wi-Fi only. And then yung with Wi-Fi plus cellular, it is 39,990 pesos. For the 256 gig naman, it retails for 39,990 pesos. And then for the Wi-Fi plus cellular, it's 49,990 pesos. By the way, hindi pa po kasama sa presyo ng mga to yung bago natin magic keyboard folio that is only designated or should we say available for the iPad 10th generation. It's a completely new accessory that retails for 16,490 pesos. Kind of sad that we don't have that or we cannot use it sa ating mga iPad Air or even sa ating iPad Pro. I've been waiting to have this magic keyboard folio 
na available or applicable sa lahat ng iPads since I saw this sa ating um, brand na Logitech. But anyway, I still find it a bit expensive. Kaya naman hindi na ako bumili pa. Now, for its predecessor pricing, gusto ko lang din ilata ano guys, para malaman nyo kung bakit ko nasabing ang laki ng price difference nila. Yung 64 gig noon ay 21,990 pesos and then yung 256 gig naman noon ay 31,990 pesos. Yung updated look na meron tayo sa iPad natin dito is a more modern look compared doon sa iPad 9th generation. But since I've seen this overall look or appearance sa mga previous iPads like iPad Pro or even from the iPad Air, which is sa pagkakalam ko, it's been 4 years now na ganito yung itsura ng mga iPads ng Apple, for me, it doesn't look super fresh. Alam mo yon? Siguro kaya sobrang attractive lang talaga niya is the new vibrant colors that we can choose from. Dahil hindi lang din yellow ang pwede niyong mabili sa market ngayon. We also have pink, blue, and of course, silver. Just like other iPads, itong new model natin guys has a nice fit and finish that makes you not wanna put a case on it. Kaya naman yung mga available folios natin sa market, ay kakulay din ng mga bago nating iPad ngayon. We now have a true stereo speaker setup dito sa ating bagong iPads and of course, a fingerprint sensor sa kanyang power button to unlock the device. Kaya naman, audio-wise, napakaganda ng output na meron tayo dito sa bagong iPad 10th generation compared to its predecessor. Now, what made me sad is the missing headphone jack. But you know what? Having a good set of speakers with no headphone jack is still better than having mono speakers with headphone jack. So yes, to those people who use their tablet as a tablet, kasi may mga taong gumagamit ng kanilang tablet as a laptop, this can really be a factor for you to get this new generation iPad. Napansin ko rin during their Apple event, they said that the new iPads has an all-screen design. But I just wanna say, it's not all-screen. Kung mapapansin nyo naman, may bezels pa rin tayo. Although it's nice since we have same size sa lahat ng angulo, since wala na rin tayong forehead and na nakita natin sa iPad 9th generation of course to cater the home button. So yes, medyo exaggerated yung all-screen design since it is far from edge to edge. Now, long overdue change guys. Finally, yung ating front camera is located here at hindi na po sa gilid. Which is, if you think about it, it really makes sense, ano guys? Kasi mas less awkward na rin siyang tignan during video calls. And since most of us naman din use her iPads like this. That is also the reason why hindi applicable yung second generation Apple Pencil dito because we cannot put it on top of our iPads. Again, to cater the front-facing camera. Nalungkot lang ako kasi itong front-facing camera na nasa ibabaw is not available sa ating mga bagong iPad Pro. Which doesn't make sense kasi alam nyo na, ang tagal natin itong inantay tapos dito lang pala siya available. E paano naman yung mga gusto ng Pro models? So yes, for me, surprising na ito yung unang iPad to actually have the front camera na nasa right spot. Hoping na sa mga future updates sa mga bagong iPad models ay ganito na din. Quality-wise, for me, okay naman siya. It still supports the center stage feature na nakita rin naman natin sa iPad 9th generation. Kung mapapansin nyo rin naman yung mga sample photos natin, it is still kind of similar sa uh, pre-noduce ng ating iPad 9th generation and even from the iPad Air. What's new is of course yung ating rear camera. From the previous 8 megapixels sa iPad 9, we now have a 12 megapixels f1.8 aperture. The same specification that we saw from the previous iPad Air. So here are a few sample photos that we took using the new iPad. Okay, so usapang Apple Pencil naman tayo. Paano ba ito i-charge dito sa bagong iPad? 10th generation. So, since bagong purchase itong Apple Pencil first generation natin, it already comes with this adapter. But no, this is not what you need for you to charge the Apple Pencil first generation to the iPad 10th gen. Kailangan nyo pa rin bumili ng 590 pesos adapter that is different from the one that comes inside the box 
of the old first generation Apple Pencil. This only applies for the old manufactured first gen Apple Pencils. So if you buy the late 2022 first gen Apple Pencil, it already comes with the 590 pesos adapter inside the box. So yeah, it will look like this while you're charging your Apple Pencil first gen. By the way, sa mga masaya dyan dahil, wow, magagamit na natin yung Apple Pencil while it's charging, actually, we cannot. Akala ko rin, no, yung purpose ng pag-charge natin ng ganitong Wii is for us to use the Apple Pencil. <laughs> Hindi po. Performance-wise, hindi ko pa masabi as of the moment since this is my unboxing and first impressions pa lang, guys. But again, this is an ongoing review. If a follow up ko naman to after a few days. But just to give you an idea, guys, this iPad has an A14 Bionic chip. The same processor that powers the 2020 iPhones or yung iPhone 12 series natin. Which is still a pretty capable chipset if I were to, you know, describe it. Kaya naman din, well recommended ko pa rin yung mga iPhone 12. Which means, okay pa rin ang performance ng chipset na nilagay nila dito sa iPad 10th gen. Sa tingin ko, pinapangunahan ko yung sarili ko talaga, no? Sa tingin ko, wala masyadong difference when it comes to day-to-day -day usage yung iPad 10th gen doon sa iPad 9th gen. But the fact that we can use the magic keyboard folio dito sa bagong iPad 10th gen, this will most likely replace the laptops of most users for everyday work. Okay, so, alam nyo, nung nalaman ko yung specifications ng bagong iPads, talaga namang na-amaze ako knowing na marami rin yung mga upgrades na nakuha natin. But considering our economy right now and yung inflation, it's really hard to recommend eh. Again, considering na hindi ko pa hawak yung iPad, ganito na talaga yung nararamdaman ko. The only main reason I'm this excited is probably because of this color yellow. Pero sa totoo lang, right now, the iPad 9th gen from 2021 is still a better buy. So yung approach na ginawa nila dito medyo similar sa MacBook Air. In-increase nila yung pricing while adding new features but keeping the older model in the lineup. So meaning, hindi na lang iPad Pro, iPad Air, iPad Mini, and iPad 9th gen yung meron tayo sa market ngayon. Pero nadagdagan pa siya ng iPad 10th gen. Generation. Also, alam niyo naman that I don't use the Apple Pencil that much. I don't draw and wala rin akong talent when it comes to that one. But again, it is sometimes useful for me for document purposes, writing scripts, and some basic tasks. So yes, okay pa rin naman sa akin na, na gumamit ng first generation. But then again, what really pains me is of course the way to charge it. Frankly, I really feel like we are going back and not really moving forward. So kung serious kayo about making an art on an iPad using this Apple Pencil, which is a very complicated move for me, it is better to just skip this model entirely. So the bottom line is, yes, the new iPads are indeed gorgeous. It is faster than anything on its price range and delivers a really good software experience. Hindi ko masasabing best value itong bago nilang tablet. And majority of the features that we have here sa iPad is present sa 5th generation iPad Air, which has an even faster M1 price. Processor. But yeah, don't worry guys, I will still be doing a follow-up on this iPad and I will probably get the keyboard pa rin, ano guys, for me to be able to appreciate this iPad more. So yeah, that's basically it. Again, it's your tech girl Mary and see you on our next video. Bye guys!